everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about Bioshock Rapture, the prequel to the, of course, famous Bioshock games, specifically the first and second one. Now I have not uh, played the Bioshock games, nor have I seen any of the like Let's Plays or whatever. The most I've ever done was, um, you know, check out the occasional online article or game theory or whatever and um, yeah and after watching after watching those I was getting kind of curious but after reading this I really want to play those games now you know I mean <clears throat> the um, story um, well kind of goes from person to person a la Game of Thrones and Saga of the Seven Sons and like many other books that I've, you know, read in the past. You know, but so but the closest thing that I can think of to like a main protagonist, so to speak, would be Bill McDoe, who was um, you know, just a regular like plumber type dude who's trying to become an engineer until he's hired on by Andrew Ryan and of course becomes chief engineer. And <clears throat> the whole thing is like him, uh, de you know, dealing with Rapture and, you know, having him uh, go with, like, uh, seeing how everything is starting out really nice, but then slowly over the course, everything just sort of goes to hell. And him eventually wanting to get his wife and his daughter out of there. As well as there are other characters, too. Like, there's uh, Security Chief Sullivan, who's the head of security. And then there are characters who I'm assuming are probably in the game, like, um, or that I've heard of are kind of in passing are in the game, uh, and characters that I think. You know, there's, um, I think, Sander Cohen, who's this um, artist dude. You know, there's a guy named Dr. Steinman, who's like, this guy who's like obsessed with beauty. And Dr. Uh, Sophia Lamb, who's uh, this psychologist who, is like uh, brought on by Mr. Ryan as uh, you know to help people with their psychological troubles and eventually turns into like the opposite extreme as Andrew Ryan himself and of course you know stuff going coming from the point of view of of course Andrew Ryan as we see in the prologue how um, he first came on his whole uh, anti-Soviet and you know got started on his anti-government pro uh, Ayn Randian type uh, ideals when he saw a good friend of his die at the hands of uh, Soviet revolutionaries as his family were uh, fleeing Russia during of course the Soviet Revolution and how when he was um, or ha and how um, in uh, like the end of World War II he saw the uh, he um, you know heard of the uh, atomic bombing at Hiroshima and apparently, I guess, heard that the Russians were trying to, you know, build their own nuclear bombs or atomic weaponry. And that was like, oh, I'm, you know, kind of getting into fear that the humanity was going to wipe itself out via nuclear annihilation. And that's kind of the reason why he, you know, built the rapture in the first, built the city rapture in the first place. Because he's thinking like, oh, well, the whole, um, humanity is going to be destroyed in nuclear annihilation and you know this way a small portion will survive and um, yeah um, which I guess makes sense I mean a lot of uh, people had that kind of fear at the time so excuse me yeah and uh, what else is there uh, Oh, and, um, uh, yeah, yeah, and of course, um, you know, the whole thing is, you know, Rapture starting out as this really promising, uh, thing, but then, of course, everything just slowly going downhill, you know, starting out with, uh, the, um, the, uh, like, stuff like de dealing with the, um, hardships of dealing, of living in it, like, this, uh, no government, no regulations kind of you know, city. You know, it starts out with like, um, you know, 
you know, companies using like really corrosive and horrible chemicals that destroy pipes and leads to large messes and, uh, you know, causing lots of pollution to um, one part where this uh, guy who owns the, um, the whole trash pickup for the whole area targeting this one guy and charging him like 10 times what he's charging everyone else because, you know, he has like, because he owns this rival corner store which is you know is being a rival to this other large business that the garbage takeout operator like owner owns and you know he wants to get him out of business so he can his large store can do better and um, yeah and then of course we go on with uh, more and more people you know losing their uh, drive or, or losing hope for the whole uh, city of rapture and wanting to leave but they can't leave because the uh, Andrew Ryan says that nobody is allowed to leave because they has, has to keep this whole city secret for reasons which in my opinion are kind of well dumb and yeah and that's kind of like the one little problem that I guess you could say I have but the, I mean like the whole thing is um, because the whole conflict is like people want to leave but they can't leave you know, and like if you like, let's say, uh, let's say the city was not secret. Let's say, um, you know, the, the built it whole thing in open. Like, like he, he wanted to keep the secret because he's afraid of like, you know, FBI or KGB infiltrators getting in and doing stuff. But then again, why would they do that when they are obviously have much bigger fish to fry? You know, KGB's, you know, all worried about the United States and the United States, well, obviously the super capitalist Andrew Ryan is going to, you know, like, even if he doesn't like the U United States anymore, it's not like they're going to, um, you know, uh, have a problem with him or anything because obviously he's anti-union to a really big extreme. And again, you know, if he just say had not uh, been say, you know, leaving or Bibles or whatever, then you know, it obviously would not be as bad. You know, probably would still wind up having problems, of course. But you know, people can leave, and people who want to start unions can be deported, and yeah. But you know, aside from that, I would say this is actually a rather f fantastic novel which I give my personal comfort level recommendation rating of a 5 out of 5. You know, definite recommendation. If you're a Bioshock fan, you're of course going to love it. You're of course going to think that it's fantastic. And if you're not a Bioshock fan, it's definitely going to make you a Bioshock fan. You know, it's just a, a fantastic read. You know, is just great. You know, liked all of the like right from the you know high uh, hopes that they have at the beginning to the you know low uh, you know area where Bioshock kind of becomes later on to the origins of stuff like the big daddies and the little sisters to uh, well yeah anyway um, it's really all I can say about it you know it was just yeah check it out and uh, yeah anyway um, next time I'm going to be taking a look at the final installment of the Lotus War trilogy until then see you later have a nice day and you know support your local libraries with your patronage donations money and whatever if you have uh, suggestions please leave so in the for either me or for other viewers that you might want to you know think would like your books that you like, you know, leave suggestions in the comment section below and have a nice day.